Good day, students. My name is Mr. Ogumbamila Oluwa Shagun. Today, I will be teaching you communication system. And uh, the content of our topic are Introduction to Communication System, Benefit of Communication System, Communication Strategies in High City, Types of High City, Broadcasting, Telecommunication, Data Network, Information System, Satellite Communication, then our summary. So let's go straight to our topic. What is communication system? Communication system is the same as high CT, which means information, communication, and technology. This is the use of technology in processing information. It uses electronic device and computer software to store, protect, process, transmit, and retrieve information anytime, anywhere. And I have a, a, a basic element of communication system. If you look at the drawing, we have the information source, we have transmis transmitter, we have channel, we have receiver, and we have destination. This shows how information is being communicated. Now let's go to example of communication system component. They are computer, telephone, cellular phone, cellular network, satellite communication, television, ETC. You can see the drawing of some of the component there. So let's go straight to the benefit of communication system. Number one is timely better and cheaper access to knowledge and information. Example is the use of GSM. You know, GSM is global system uh, for mobile. The use of GSM phone is cheaper and timely to reach other people. Everybody has phone nowadays because we use the GSM to communicate with what one another. Number two is this. Number two benefit of communication system is it speed up the processes of transaction in banks, in some business or sector. You can see technology communication has speed up the uh, the speed of the transaction. It provides online business services. It also enhances data security. Then the last one with high city distance is no longer a barrier in business transaction and dealings. So communication system have helped the world to be a better place. We are now living in a global village. So let's go straight to the communication strategy in high city. There are two types of communication strategy in high city. The synchronous communication and the asynchronous communication. Now the synchronous communication, this is a communication strategy where all parties involved in the communication are present and available at the same time, e.g. online chat, video conferencing, etc. If you look at it, you see some pictures there whereby they are both having, uh, the both parties are, are having video conferencing. So in synchronous communication, both parties need to be present, they have to be active. Asynchronous communication. Asynchronous communication does not require that all parties involved need to be present and available at the same time. E.g. discussion forum, blogs, e-group, etc. In these examples, one person can communicate in a way that, does, that doesn't require the other person to be present at the same time. For example, if you send me an email, I, I do not need to be there to receive it because the mail will go straight into my email box. So anytime I'm, I'm available, I'll check it. So that is as you know what communication. Hope you will understand. Now let's go straight to the types of high city. Um, the following types of high city. We have the broadcasting. We have the telecommunication. We have the data data network. 
We have the information system and the last one is what? Satellite communication. Now what do you understand by broadcasting? Broadcasting is the distribution of audio video content to a dispersed audience via any electronic mass communication medium. Types of broadcasting include radio broadcasting, television, television broadcasting, satellite TV, then webcasting. So all our TV station, our DSTV station, uh, our radio station, they are, they are under broadcasting uh, system. The likes of the Go TV, the Star Times, they are all under broadcasting communication system. So let's go straight to the telecommunication. What do you understand by telecommunication? Telecommunication is the transmission of information over a significant distance for the purpose of communication. A basic telecommunication system consists of three primary units, a transmitter, a transmitter, a transmitting medium, and the receiver. Okay? And if you look at uh, if you look beside the note, you see a mask. A mask is there. The mask is used for communication. On the max, you can see a radio. All those uh, devices you see around on the max, they are called radios. They are the transmitter, they are the transmitting medium, and they are the receiver. This enables us to communicate in a very easy way. So, types of telecommunication system include the PSTN, that is the public system telephone network. We have the mobile phone GSM, that is the global system. What? The global system um, uh, mobile, we have the circuit switch packet tele uh, telephone, that is the CSPT, and we also have the satellite telephone and fixed wireless telephone. So let's go straight to the data network. Data network is an electronic communication process that allows for orderly transmission and receptive of what data holy. And there are five types of data network. The PAN, that is a personal area network. We have the LAN, local area network. We have the MAN, that is metropolitan area network. We have the WAN, which is wide area network. And the last one is the internet. You need to know all this type of all type all the type of data network. Then we we'll go straight to number four, which is information system. Information system is an integrated set of components for collecting, storing processing and communicating information. Types of information system include data processing system and global positioning system, that is a GPS. Then the last one, the last type of ICT we have is the satellite communication. What do you understand by satellite communication? Satellite communication in telecommunication is the use of artificial satellites to provide communication links between various, various points on Earth. So, with the aid of satellite, it helps us to connect different countries together. With the uh, satellite, helps us to achieve what we call the global village. Now, you can see if you want to chat with your uncle in Australia, if you want to chat with your auntie in Canada, you can easily connect with them. You can easily communicate with them because all these uh, all these type of ICT has helped us to what to make a world a better place. So, in summary, ICT. ICT is an acronym that stands for Information and Communication Technology. The high, which is the information, is refers to knowledge obtained from reading, investigating, study, and research. The C, which is the communication, is the act of transmitting message. And the technology is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purpose, especially in industry. So ICT can therefore be defined as the use of diverse set of technology tools and resources to communicate, create, disseminate, store, and manage information. So let me give you two assignments. Number one is, in a tabular form, differentiate between synchronous and asynchronous communication system. And number two is what? Write 10 information communication component around you. I hope you enjoy the class. Thank you for listening. God bless you. 
and remember to stay safe. Bye-bye.